Whether you're a professional or a first-time DIYer, the following installation video was created to provide you with a quick and easy step-by-step -step process for installing the base and bench shower kit. Please comply with the recommendations and standards established by the National Tile Council of North America. Please make note of the following tools and material you will need for this installation. Step 1. Pre-installation prep. Ensure that the shower pan subfloor is level and walls are level, plumb, and square. Run your level from left to right. If off by more than 3 eighths an inch, you'll need to go back and re-level out the floor prior to installing the pan. This will ensure a level finished product. Place the square into your corners to make sure corners are all square and straight. All walls and framing should be plumb prior to proceeding. Next, confirm borehole is in the right location for the drain hub to fit. The borehole needs to be a 6 inch diameter opening. To get your borehole location, measure from side splash wall closest to drain and back splash wall to the center of the drain. On the pan that we are working with today, will need to be 15 inches off the back wall and 6 inches off the side wall. Step 2. Building the bench frame. First, test fit your tile-ready pan to ensure that your framed out opening is equal to the dimensions of the pan, plus an additional 12 inches on the side of the pan where the ready bench is to be installed. With either a tape measure or a 12-inch piece of wood, confirm that you are accurately accommodating for the 12-inch depth of the ready bench. Build and install a frame for the ready bench between the shower base footprint and the shower wall framing. Either wood or metal framing may be used as required by local building codes. For the ready bench framing, the framing height is based on personal preference, but it is usually a height of 18 inches, like the one we're working with here. It will be butted up against the splash wall of the pan. Please note that the ready bench framing will need to be level because the ready bench is already designed with a slope so that the seat of the bench will drain into the shower. Next, securely attach the bench framing to the shower floor substrate and to the wall studs. With all framing complete, now is a good time to install your roofing paper. Do not place mortar directly on wood as it will absorb the water from the mortar. Step 3. Shower Dry Fit Now we will ensure a perfect fit by test fitting the shower pan and ready bench. Look to see that the drain housing fits into the subfloor borehole. Make sure that the shower pan is aligned properly and fits snugly against the shower frame studs on all sides and corners, including the newly constructed bench frame. Ensure that the pan is level on the floor. There should be no movement or bulge. Step 4. Installation Preparation Here you will see the bottom of the pan. To properly calculate the depth of the mortar needed, you're going to measure the deepest point of the rib underneath the pan. To do that, you're going to go from the furthest point from the drain. For your exact pan measurements, please reference the installation instructions for your specific tile-ready product. For today's video, we are using a ready trench left drain, and we calculated specific measurements based on this pan's installation instructions. Tip: You can get a piece of wood, a shim, and use as a depth gauge. Mark the shim to indicate the inch measurement needed for your specific pan. This is helpful later during the actual installation to ensure that you have a sufficient amount of mortar. Step 5. Mortar Preparation we recommend using a Type N or Type S mortar mix. These are made out of a sand base. It doesn't have any rocks or pebbles that will prevent you from being able to recess the pan inside the mortar bed. We recommend having two buckets ready. Pour water and mortar mix into the buckets. We're using Type S. A drier mortar mix will prevent your pan from setting properly. As you're adding water, you want to make sure that your mortar is wet and loose enough which will allow the pan to easily sink into the mortar. Step 6. Laying Mortar Now that the mortar is mixed, grab your depth gauge and finishing trowel. As you're spreading out the mortar into the shower stall, stay approximately an inch off the perimeter of the shower framing. This will allow mortar to stay inside the rib foundation underneath the pan. You'll want to go all the way up to the borehole. By using the depth gauge, this will help you to verify that the mortar bed is the depth that you need. Again, using the edge of your trowel, pull the mortar approximately one inch off the perimeter of the shower framing. 
At this stage, check all areas throughout the shower bed to ensure that you're reaching the specific depth you need, in this case, one inch. You'll notice that we're actually bringing the mortar a little bit past the pan size. This will be explained as we set the pan. Step seven, pan installation. Now that your mortar bed is laid out and measured to ensure proper depth, place the pan against the wall, lowering it evenly into the mortar bed. The first place to apply down pressure is the drain because that is the lowest part of your pan. That's where your water will drain. Work your way through the rest of the pan. Shimmy the pan left to right or front to back, dependent on your pan's rib foundation, allowing the pan to recess into the mortar bed. Using your level, ensure that your pan is level left to right and front to back along your splash walls and left to right along the curb. You do not want to use the inside of the pan as an indicator since the pan is pre-pitched and not meant to be level. There will be mortar coming out of the front of the pan. As explained earlier while setting the mortar down, we pass the curb a bit so that we can ensure that there is mortar underneath the entire curb. Using your trowel, you will pack any gaps under the curb with the excess mortar. Now that we've cleaned the excess mortar out, Confirm one more time that the pan is level and did not shift. To ensure that your pan does not shift while drying, you can set screws above splash walls into the framing on each corner. You do not screw through the pan splash wall. You never puncture the pan. Allow the mortar bed to dry in accordance with the instructions of mortar manufacturer. Step eight, install flashing and adhesive. First, install the Ready Flash flashing system along the splash walls of the shower pan. Apply a bead of 100% silicone to the top of the Ready Flash flashing that runs along the splash wall alongside the bench frame. Apply Loctite PL Premium Construction Adhesive to all surfaces of the bench frame which are in contact with the Ready Bench when it is placed in the frame. Install the ready bench by securely placing the bench on the framing so it is in contact with all the seat and leg support areas containing Loctite PL Premium Construction Adhesive. Press firmly on the bench frame and hold it securely in place for approximately 30 minutes. Wipe clean any excess silicone. Install the ready flash on the top of the three splash walls of the ready bench in the same fashion that the ready flash was installed on the shower base splash walls. Installation instructions will provide a list of recommended modified thin sets used for tile installation. We hope this installation video was helpful. The Basin Bench Shower Kit is just one of the many products that Tile Ready has developed, and we will continue to innovate new ideas for our customers. If you need additional help, please never hesitate to contact our technical department at 855-441-2718 or visit our website at tileready.com.